Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? It's Blog World, and it's coming now! And I'm coming to Blog World and New Media Expo, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine. You can find me over at www.geekazine.com. Think magazine. Take out the mag, put in a geek, and you got a great gun. I think. It's kind of like a gun. But it shoots geeks. Weird. Anyway, thanks a lot for coming to Blog World TV. The show where we look at what's going on in Blog World and New Media Expo. And of course, you know, we are just days, days, days away. Did I say days away from New York City? New York City, New York City, yes, New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is it. You know, next week, June 5th through the 7th, Blog World and New Media Expo, New York takes place. And wow, lots of stuff you can learn from Blog World and New Media Expo. Lots of people you can meet at Blog World and New Media Expo. Lots of things to do. If you're not in the New York area, you can sign up for a virtual ticket, and we'll talk about that as we go. But right now, we're going to get right into five questions. We're going to be talking to Mark Lassoff, who's first time at Blog World and New Media Expo New York. He went to L.A., and he's, of course, he's uh, from New York. I didn't think he was, but it sounded like he didn't. But anyway, take a look, take a listen. Here's the interview. Hey, everybody. Jeffrey Powers here. We're here with another five questions. We have Mark Lassoff, and he is with uh, the company LearnToProgram.tv. Is that correct? Yeah, we just for short say Learn to Program. Makes it easy. People know what we do right away. Okay, learn to program, and is this your your company or your? Uh, it is. It is. Yep. So you are the founder, the CEO, the all inclusive god. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what the company does? Sure, we are a fairly new company, and we create online courses geared towards programmers, software developers, web developers, and mobile developers. Um, basically, if you want to learn how to program iOS, if you want to learn HTML, if you want to learn even JavaScript. We offer inexpensive courses you can take online. What's your uh, most famous or favorite course that, that people end up getting? Um, probably just because of the need to understand the skill is our basic HTML course. I think right now we've got just under 1,600 students taking that course. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Question number one. Uh, this is your first time in New York, you said. What are you, uh, are you looking forward to seeing anything in New York, doing anything, uh, but, well, besides Blog World, uh, Blog World and New Media Expo? Um, oh, actually, I, I should be clear. It's not my first time in New York. It's my first time at the New York conference. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I live 80 miles from New York City. I'm there all the time. <laughs> All right. In, in, well, in, 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 in fact, I teach live courses in New York on web development and mobile development like, pretty frequently. But I can, I can tell you, one of the things I am looking forward to doing yeah. is getting a very, very good Cuban meal at Victor's Cuban in the theater district. There you go. Victor's, Victor's Cuban. What was that again? Vic, Victor's Cuban Cafe. It's in the theater district. I think it's on 53rd Street. Um, but you can just look it up. Victor's Cuban Cafe. Great food. All right. Question number two. Um, of course, the, the BEA is upstairs, and Blog World and New Media Expo is downstairs at the Javits Center. Um, first of all, are you, are you planning to attend the, the Book Expo America? And second of all, uh, is there anybody that you want to see there um, and see and talk to? It's, it, will I not get the instruction manual if I say no? No. No, no. You, you, uh, you could say no. I'm not gonna. I'm not planning to go up there, but uh, it's a great place to go to. I, I, and, I, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually going to visit just to see uh, someone with a uh, publishing company that we work with. Well, that's cool too. I mean, it's it's all about networking. It's all about. Yeah. Uh, it's all about ca catching up with old friends. So that's a that's a great answer right there. You're 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 on your way towards the remote instruction manual. So, all right. Question number three. Blog World New Media Expo. Have you have you gone through these sessions? Is there anything? Because you're you're not speaking there. You're actually just attending. 
Uh, That's right. I, I, I don't know anything in this area, so I, I can't speak. I can only attend. Is there any sessions that you're looking forward to? or on, uh, Yeah, is there any sessions to look forward to? Um, you know, I, I kind of look, look by, by track, um, and, and some of the ones I'm most interested in are on, uh, there's, I think there's one on list building, and I can't remember who it is or, or okay. who was presenting, but there's one on list building that I'm interested in. There's also a couple on uh, you know, using podcasts to enhance marketing, things like that. You know, we, we, we are, uh, you know, we're a little bit different, I think, than some of the other companies or people that attend in that we already have a profitable business, so we're looking at social networking, blogging, etc., as an adjunct to improve our marketing and increase the business we've already got. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a different perspective than you know people who where the blog is the business. We actually have 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 you know products and things. So I think we're going to be looking for things that really are going to be complementary to the business we already have, and that'll help me uh, be a better online or digital or whatever word you want to use, marketer. Next, next question here is, uh, since you, you said that you, you are running a pretty successful business and, and you want to learn more about this, the social media, uh, social networking aspect of things, it, on, on your end, what would be the one thing that you would suggest to people to work on to make their businesses successful? Because it really doesn't matter if you're, uh, if you're social media or if you're regular broadcast media yeah. or whatever. Um, what would be the one thing that you would tell people? You know, I, I think to the, I think you know, one thing I'll say, I'll say, Jeff, too, is I think we're at the point now where it's all just media. You know, there's nothing necessarily special about this media. It's everyone's using it. But I, you know, I, I would, I would say that you know that I think all of these tools can be used to promote any any type of business. You know, one thing I think I've seen that I find a little bit disappointing, I think, is that a lot of people look at the blog as an end to itself. And like this is the business is is this blog, but I think people who have an expertise have more to offer than just simply and not that there's anything wrong with you know writing the blog, but have more than more to offer than the blog and a little creativity can build a business around that that's sustaining and profitable versus just you know writing a blog, which is a great thing to do, but may not establish a full fledged business in the way many people are are thinking it will there you go all right, question number five. Are do are you going to get yourself a Facebook phone? <laughs> I don't even have a Facebook account. What? I, I actually, I, yeah, I'm 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 like the I'm I'm the anti Facebook. I I'm all over LinkedIn, and I just made a conscious decision that I I, you know, if I didn't like you in third grade, I don't want to have lunch with you now, or or be your online friend, oh. and so I, I I I don't do Facebook. Um, we have another employee at our company who manages our corporate face Facebook presence. But I, I don't I don't do Facebook. I do LinkedIn and, and I do uh, you know like real friends who I actually talk to and see. Okay. Does that make well, me that, weird? No, well, it makes me weird in this crowd. <laughs> actually, no. I, I, the the personal Facebook I understand. At least you've got a presence on Facebook with your company, and that's the that's the important yeah. part. In the meantime, where can people get a hold of you? Not through Facebook. That's true. Um, but they can get, they can get a hold of me at uh, learn to program dot tv or on Google Plus just my name dot com Mark Lassoff M A R K L A S S O F F dot com. Any Twitter handles or? Ah, Twitter. Yeah, first initial last name M Lassoff. M Lassoff. M L A S S. Yeah, M L A S S O F F. M O U S E. Yes. All right. So. Right. Or they could, or they could just come up to me if they see me at the conference. Just come up and say hi. Yeah, definitely. Pick your pick your brain because uh, if if you're doing if you're doing great in this space, then you should uh, definitely come out there and get out in the podcast pavilion because that's the, that that's where you're going to be able to, to uh, get uh, in front of some of the media out there and and, uh, and get some interviews going and that and that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, of course, great stuff from the Hangout Sessions, of course. If you want to be part of the Hangout Sessions, all you have to do is wait for me to say, hey, I'm looking for people for the Hangout Sessions. Otherwise, you can email me at jeff at blogworldexpo.com. Jeff at blogworldexpo.com. You can also Twitter me at Geekazine. Once again, think magazine, take out the mag, put in a geek. All right. So my goal for this year's Blog World and New Media Expo is to be as mobile as possible and be able to get 
all the cool stuff that happens. I'll have my camera, I will be interviewing people on the spot and that'll be cool. But I got a brand new unit I'm gonna show you right here, right now. This is called the uh, Cerebo. And what this is, is a live streaming unit. So what it does is it takes this camera and makes it more mobile. How does it do that? Well, simply, this one doesn't have a shoe on it. I have a special mount that, that will hook it up to the camera. So it'll, it'll basically look like this. I will be running around with this unit on top of my camera, live streaming as we go. So if you go up on Ustream to my Ustream channel, you'll be able to see me running around the Javits Center um, using this unit right here. Now, the Cerebo unit records into uh, 480 and uh, uses wireless or uses a 3G or a 4G connection to send the signal. It runs off of three AA batteries or self-powered. You can use the HDMI port to send the signal from this HDMI camera to this device right here. Of course, you can figure it through a portal. So you don't need a PC. You can do it through an iPad or another tablet or a phone for that matter. So I'm going to be running around with this little unit. You can check me out uh, as I run around, get, some, get a quick interview with me on the uh, on the show and we go from there and then uh, of course whatever I record will then get ported off to blog world TV for the upcoming weeks after blog world and new media expo New York all right we're gonna continue on I sat down and talked with Shane Kettleman uh, who is part of the blog world and new media expo team one of the new newbies at blog world and new media expo and we talk about uh, what what it took to really put this show together. Okay, <laughs> let's do that again. We're here with Shane Ketterman, <laughs> and uh, and of course he's with Blood. What, what's what's your official role with Blood World New Media? Um, I would say conference director. <laughs> okay, okay. So you basically uh, took care of all the tracks, or what, what is? Yeah. Uh, um, well, there's many things, but the primary the, the the primary role is is you know building the conference schedule, building the tracks, you know, uh, getting the speakers in, making sure all the presentations are quality, and you know, there's many other tasks involved, but that's like the big picture. Okay. So you work closely with all the track leaders in, in getting them going, right? Yes, track leaders, speakers, keynotes, etc. Now we talked about uh, we, we we've been talking for a few weeks and, and uh, we talked about the podcast track, which is pretty solid, I think. And of course, Cliff Raven's prep has done a great job, but we really haven't uh, divulged into any of the other track leaders. Why, why don't you give them a shout out? Um, if you can. Sure. Absolutely. Um, well, you know, we have Cliff, of course, that we brought on for podcasting. Cliff has done an amazing job. I mean, it's just phenomenal what Cliff has done with that full track. Um, but we also have, we have the blogging tracks, and I say that tracks as in plural because there's, you know, multiple things going on there. You know, we have monetization, mobile, content. Yeah, but who's, uh, who, who are the people that are behind it? I guess that's, that would be real question. Yeah, well, we have David Risley who um, is doing the monetization track. Big shout out to David um, because we kind of added another day onto that track. So David, you know, David and I had to kind of get uh, get some get that all programmed, but it worked out great. And David's been phenomenal. And then we have on the mobile track we have Tom Martin, and Tom's been absolutely great. Um, he brought on. We only have one day of mobile, but Tom really brought on some strong speakers, so it's been great with that. And then the other track leaders are for web TV. And that is being produced by IAW TV, which is the International Academy of Web TV. And it's primarily Tim Street and his assistant Sandra Payne. Um, and that is really cool because, you know, in particular this year we're having web TV be in two rooms all three days, which is a total of 24 sessions. Mm -hmm. And we pulled that together right after South by Southwest, so at the end of March. And they have been absolutely phenomenal. We've all been working together to put together a, what I would consider an amazing representation of web TV. Um, what, was the, what was the toughest part about 
putting together this track uh, for the uh, New York conference. You mean which track? Uh, any of the tracks. What was the toughest? Oh. Uh, what was the toughest? What was the biggest challenge? <laughs> well, I think the biggest challenge is, you know, one of the biggest challenges is making sure that, you know, you can put a track together like monetization or content or one of those, and the biggest challenge there is always making sure that you have the right balance of, you know, intermediate, advanced, and beginner material. Because you really want to make sure that someone coming to the show that's new can get the beginner material, but you also want to make sure that attendees that are coming to the show that have been there two years, three years, that there's something for them. So <clears throat> that's a challenge because you're really trying to focus on that and make sure that it's all a right fit at the right times and the right days. And so I think that's, that's one of the challenges. The other one is um, just making sure that you get everything organized at the right times and all the people and all the agreement for, you know, all of the kind of technical part of it. Uh, anything that you're excited to see or uh, or uh, somebody that you've seen before that you, you can't wait to see yet? Yeah. I mean, well, for one, the first keynote. So Tuesday, I mean, this this keynote, and I, I say I'm excited because of the people involved. Um, the first keynote on Tuesday is going to be called um, The History and Future of Modern uh, Media Makers. And it starts off with Gary Hoover. Now, <clears throat> the reason that's exciting is because Gary start, obviously is famous for Hoovers.com, and then he also helped launch the uh, digital version of Barnes & Noble. And, well, actually, he launched something digital that was bought out by Barnes & Noble. But yeah. Gary is just a phenomenal business historian. I mean, he's probably read every book under the planet. I think he has something like 50,000 books in his library. Wow. And so he's going to be talking about, you know, some of the game changers, um, Henry Luce and Bill Paley, who really in the 50s changed media and, and really changed it for what we're doing now. And then... After he does his talk, we're going to go right into Deanna Brown, who's the CEO of Federated, and Paul Contonis, who is the uh, chairman and co-founder of the IAWTV. Okay. And they're going to be interviewed by Robert Scoble, who are going to be talking about the future of modern media and some of the names and things. So the reason I find that exciting is because it's really an amazing learning opportunity from some pioneers. And that's, you know, those are things you just can't get every day. Um, certainly you can't get them online. You can, these are in-person things that, um, and then Chris Brogan I'm excited about because Chris is Chris and he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way to say it. Chris is Chris. Yeah. Chris is Chris. Chris is just an amazing guy, no matter what, and and he's going to be talking about his own experience blogging, which I have no doubt is going to be cool. Um, and then the last one, our new media live, that's going to be really neat because I mean the names are just phenomenal. Jenny Lawson, the bloggist, mm -hmm. um, Chad Vader, which you know it they stands on, for itself. They live on the east side of town uh, where I live. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, that's Matt Sloan and Aaron Yonda, and then David Thorne, and a lot of people, if they've never read David Thorne, it might take them a bit to get it, but once you do, you're hooked. David is absolutely phenomenal, and uh, <laughs> he's going to be great. And, you know, so we're going to have all these folks up there, um, <clears throat> and Mark Malkoff is going to be doing the uh, kind of you know, the, the MC part of that. And it's just going to be great. I mean, you, you don't... I think all three are equally going to be good. So, All right, and that is, does it for this episode of Blog World TV, Blog World and New Media Expo. My name is Jeffrey Powers. You can find me on at geekazine.com or you can find me on Twitter at geekazine. If you want to send me an email, it's jeff at blogworldexpo.com. Jeff at blogworldexpo.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're at this point where Tuesday the conference starts, the show starts, the big show. I will be coming into New York City Monday evening 
where I will be, uh, you know, hanging out and enjoying a little bit of the city. And then Tuesday, we're going to go full bore. I've got some great plans myself. I am going to go down to the, uh, the memorial. I am going to check out a couple places in New York I didn't get to last time. And, of course, I'm just going to have a lot of fun with a lot of you bloggers, podcasters, TV casters, V casters, whatever you call yourself if you're a marketer, if you're a social media person, whatever, I want to talk to you, exchange a business card, and then, of course, uh, get to know you a little bit better. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching this episode of Blog World TV. Um, we will be back a week after Blog World. Uh, of course, I will be collecting content all next week. And we probably won't put out a show, but we'll do a lot of live streaming. Go over to blogworldexpo.com to get yourself a ticket, including a virtual ticket if you can't make it to New York City. And, of course, you can check out all the sponsors that are part of Blog World and New Media Expo. And, of course, if you are in New York City, check it out and get a hold of me. Let me know where you're going to be, and we'll get together, and, uh, and we'll talk, and we'll say hi. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Blog World TV, when it will be post-apocalyptic blog world, New York. We're going to rock this place to the point where it's all rocked out. Ladies and gentlemen, geek out.